How to use a walker with one leg? That's the question we're going to be answering in this video from Simple Steps Mobility. Hello folks, this is Brian from Simple Steps Mobility. Uh, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel, make sure you do so. I'll ask you again at the end of this video. But today, today's video, or this video, we're going to talk about how to use a walker with one leg. Now, I did make another video about uh, basically how to use a walker when you're non-weight bearing on one leg. Generally, you're non-weight bearing after a surgery or something like that. If, the doc if you break your ankle or something and the doctor has you at a non-weight bearing status, basically that means you're not putting your foot on the ground. When you're, when you're using a walker and, you, and you're walking with a walker with one leg, it may be that you've actually had your leg amputated or it may be that you've had some sort of uh, injury to your leg and you're not able to put the leg on the ground or, or maybe you've had your foot uh, worked on, uh, operated on and you can't put your foot on the ground. Whatever the, um, the reason that you may be using a walker with one leg, typically it's going to be the same way as non-weight bearing. Now, what I usually tell people when they are either non-weight bearing or they're using a walker with only one leg, I tell them to try and avoid hopping. Hopping causes a lot more anxiety, it takes a lot more energy, and it also makes you a little bit more unsteady and unstable. When you're using a walker with one leg, I want you to think about this. What you're trying to do is just simply walk on one leg. You're not hopping, you're walking. When we're walking, we, we walk at a, a smoother pace than when we are hopping. So let's just assume that I'm not able to use my right leg or I only, I only have my left leg. When I'm using the walker, I want to make sure that it's adjusted to the right height, adjusted at the bend of the, where my wrist bends uh, when I'm standing up straight. And I would like to advance the walker out, bear the weight on my arms, and take a step, nice and easy. Advance the walker, bear the weight on my arms, lean on my arms, take a step and take another step. That's a little bit different than what most people think of when they're, when they're on using a walker on one leg. They typically will hop around like so. And what that does is it takes a lot more energy, you can tell by my voice, it takes a lot more energy to hop around on one leg. It makes you a lot less stable when you're hopping around on one leg. And for whatever reason, uh, unconsciously, it tends to uh, increase the anxiety level uh, that you're in a hurry, you have to do something before you fall or you have to get to your destination quickly. So what I would recommend is that if you if you're happen to be using a walker with one leg, that you think about walking on one leg. You advance the walker, nice and easy, bear your body weight, take a step. Don't hop, take a step. Advance the walker, bear the weight on your arms, take a step, and so on and so forth. Uh, that way, if you, if you have the misfortune of having to use a walker on one leg, that way you can be a little bit more stable as you're moving around. So that's, what, that's our video for today. If you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, feel free to do so. Just click the button in the bottom corner and uh, look for my other videos on this channel also. Uh, you may pick up some more information and some more tips on how to use a walker safely. Thank you.